All right, guys, so we're back. If you haven't checked out any of the past videos, make sure you do so after this video. Have Hunter here once again. We got Kettlebell Coach University. Today, however, we're gonna do a workout routine, a contrast training that's gonna maximize our time and also get us power, strength, and coordination for athletes, right? A lot of the times when you're working with athletes, you don't have much time. So time is of the essence. How can we pack the most amount of power, speed, and strength into a 15, 20 minute block? You can do it with one, two kettlebells and a few hurdles, that's all you need. The beginner iteration, we're gonna go a single arm dead clean. We gotta get into a vertical pulling position. So if you see me from the side, I wanna get down here like I'm about to Olympic lift. Now I can go straight up, right back down, train the absorption, right back down and relax. We're gonna go two reps, maximal speed, maximal effort. And what goes great with that is jump. Focus on the absorption. You got hops too. So that's our beginner contrast for vertical force production. So once you can do one, now we can go two. This is one of my favorite power exercises, the double KB dead cleans. It's an explosion vertically. Two reps, step away. There you go. Let's get another one. There you go. Good, place it down. So now once somebody can absorb a landing, now I'm gonna go continuous. So I wanna get that stretch shortening and get off the ground. There you go. So now I'll face this way. Money. So that's your bilateral continuous hurdle jumps. The most advanced one that we're gonna do today, we're gonna do a double dead squat clean. So this is about contracting and relaxing. So I explode and then I get underneath. Singles here, this is not easy. There you go. There's the money there. Now let's make it harder. Now you gotta land on one leg. Yeah, let's go. I wanna see the elongation. Store the energy like a spring, then fucking unleash that spring. No momentum, okay. right there. Get into a vertical pull and stop using your muscles. Use your fucking feet and explode. Coil that spring, let's go. There you go. Nice work. And relax. We've been talking about relaxing, contracting at the right time all day. A huge part of that is your breath. So when I do a kettlebell swing, I don't want to be tense the whole time. You want to imagine you throw a punch, then you're chilling. Same thing with the swing. So if you watch me swing this, I'm going to breathe, then I'm chilling. At the top, you should have like a smile. Like right here is when the punch comes. I want max speed. I don't, I don't want them to be slow. There you go. Nice. There you go. Nice. Nice. So as we do these swings, if you're a fighter at the top position, take a video, take a picture. If you're up here at the top of your swings, I want you to be more extended. Swing, lateral hop with a bound, half kneeling sprint. So let's get Phil to give us five swings real quick. And each set, I'll give you a different variation of swing. One, two, three, four, Five. Now I just want a hide and hop with a bounce. We'll go seven seconds and we're gonna count how many times you go. So over and back's one. Go, one, two, three, two more, four, five, done. Now put it together in a sprint. Yes, sir. So when you do a workout like this, the goal is not fatigue, it's actually anti-fatigue. I wanna be as recovered and ready to go so I can give my power output the same it was last set again. So can I repeat that same power? Take rest, 30 to 45 seconds between exercises, two to three minutes between sets. These can be done pretty much for a running clock. If you wanted to get in and out in 30 minutes, you can set a running clock, do your sets, take your time of rest. I like 15 to 20 minutes for this because too long, you kind of lose the intention. I want you to feel like, okay, let's go to 
to the next one, but respecting, let's rest. But I want you fired up. If you got fighters, I want them to feel like they want to go fight. Get as many rounds as you can. Next week, add a little bit of load. Or if you're just learning the skills, get mastery is progression too. So getting better at the skills is also progression. Find me on Instagram, hunter crind or kettlebellcoachuniversity.com. Next year, our cohort will start early 2024 for KBCU. And you can also join us at our event. It's going to be crazy next April in Austin, Texas. See you guys next time. Peace. Ah!